we were lucky enough to have our very first Isle of Wight Story Festival in February 2020, just before the first lockdown in the UK. The Story Festival Committee made plans throughout the rest of that year and met when we could, outside in the cold or via video links. Our plan was to hold a festival, partly in real life, socially distanced in bubbles, and partly online. But in the early stages of January 2021, it became clear it was all going to have to happen online. The team behind the festival worked like beavers, converting all of the performers, authors and workshop events into pre-recorded videos or live streams. We were exceptionally delighted to welcome CBB's Kerry Burnell, who spoke eloquently about people living with additional needs and disabilities. Carnegie Medal longlister Tom Palmer, who talks about how he researches and develops his books, and our very own Kieran Larwood, speaking about his latest book, Uki and the Swamp Spirit, and helping children in an online workshop to create fantasy maps. We were treated to a story based on a true event, that of the Great Flood of London in 1928, and author Eve MacDonald shared the coincidence that led her to naming one of her lead characters and show the children how they can make treasures from mudlarking. Emergency Turtle came back for a second year after running a very popular performance of their Shadow Puppet Theatre last year. But we also had local authors, naturalists, educators, poets and spoken word champions. Storytellers extraordinaire, historians, even an NHS doctor. To link with local businesses and show them our support, we ran a story trail on Facebook and collaborated with Medina Bookshop in Cowes, who supplied books with a click and collect service. And this was all kicked off with a very special appearance by video link to our patron, Nicholas Allen. We set up our YouTube channel in record time and recruited top technical support in the form of Jamie Fothergill. On the first day, we reached 232 unique viewers who may have had two or three people or more watching from the same device and had 915 views on our videos. Over the four days of the festival, we had 2,853 views from 855 different devices as far away as Glasgow, Trinidad, the Netherlands and Missouri, USA. Not bad for a little island. And now it's back to the drawing board, hopefully for a more normal event in 2022. I wonder who will come. With enormous thanks to our sponsors, without whom this festival would never happen.